Namaste friends and I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm continuing the conjunction series. Now uh, the first video was about the Sun and Mars in the first house. This is going to be Sun and Mercury in the first house. Um, the same disclaimer or caveat I have to say that whatever effects which I'll be mentioning now may or may not apply to you. Okay, you need to check your charts, you need to make sure that everything falls into its own places, uh, the dignities, the strengths, the yogas, the the ill effects, the curses, the um, the karakas. If you're using Jaimini, uh, you know every other thing must be checked before saying that. Oh yes, if I have Sun and Mercury in the first house, this is what's going to happen. What I'll be saying is the effects on both polarities, both good and bad. But judging it, you must know or you must have the experience to interpret your own. Uh, uh, features of the grahas, how strong they are and how they are affected, uh, especially Sun and Mercury and all these things. And you must also understand the Karakatwas uh, of the first house and so many other things must be checked. Okay? Um, so yeah, so with that said, let, let's, uh, let's talk about the Sun and Mercury in the first house. Now Sun and Mercury also called the Buddha Aditya uh, is not only a normal conjunction but it's a yoga actually. Okay? If you, if you do Buddha Aditya uh, in my YouTube channel, you you find this uh, in uh, in details on how to find this in your chart and stuff like that. Um, now, Buddha Aditya, as I mentioned, is not only a, a normal conjunction, but it is a yoga. Okay, meaning that it forms or it manifests certain fixed personalities. Now, first of all, Buddha Aditya makes a person extremely famous. Okay, proverbial, um, you know, people who are always. Uh, seen as a something like a public figure. It doesn't matter how small or or, or large the place is. Uh, even if it's a village, uh, if a person has Buddha Aditya in their chart, this person will be prominent in that village. So you, you understand what I'm trying to tell you, right? Uh, the fact is, it doesn't matter uh, about materialistic um, gains that one has. It doesn't matter. This person is always seen as the person, uh, uh, the person that we can go and get advice, a person who is known to be wise, okay, uh, his or uh, her um, popularity is uh, is because of, not of money, okay, but of knowledge, all right, of, uh, of uh, piousness, uh, of, uh, of exemplariness is seen for Buddha Aditya. So it's something that if you have um, and uh, you know, the, uh, if you have and if you don't see any things happening in your life as what, I'm, as what I or many other astrologers are mentioning, then it needs to be invoked. There are some special things that you can do for that. But uh, let's put that aside. Now, uh, so to continue, so these people are very proverbial, very um, you know, famous and known. Uh, if they have this Buddha, the Buddha, or the Sun, Mercury in the first house, um, in that first house, it will show their uh, their consciousness because Mercury. You must understand it's it's all about intellect. Okay, uh, Buddha. In in fact, um, the what from my what I heard was it's from the core word of Buddhi. Buddhi means intellect, right? Uh, this intellect uh, is the one which uh, affects every other success. In a person's life, without intellect, we are we are nothing. We are basically losers, right? In any form, in any shape, in any field, it doesn't matter. Intellect is the most important factor for success. Okay. Um, so, with that said, the consciousness levels are always high for Buddha Aditya people in the first house, or for any house for the matter. But the first house shows their personality. So, and also their approach in the public circle. So, outside. Okay, they are always cautious. You know, they can easily find uh, uh, people who are coming to take them for a ride. Say someone comes, this salesperson comes and talks to this guy who has Buddha Aditya. Before he starts to talk, he will know exactly what is this guy trying to say, where is he trying to come from, uh, what are his uh, intentions. Everything can be ruled out very easily because they have that uh, super conscious uh, um, methods of understanding what's going on within the environment, okay, the perception level uh, and the discretions are very, very matured. Um, so with that said, they have this uh, instincts uh, very strong as well, okay. 
So that's just one thing prominently seen with the Buddha Aditya in the first house. Uh, these people um, mature very early in their life, okay, very early in their life. Now don't be surprised, some Buddha Aditya people, they, they ruin their life because of the way they, they talk. They talk too much, okay. They talk unnecessary. Okay, some sometimes if you have Buddha Aditya, if if the sun is overly strong or it has some uh, effect from malefic um, uh, influences, then what it creates is it creates an unnecessary pride uh, within a person. What we call as the false pride. False pride together with these super conscious thoughts will create unnecessary problems because you will, you will go and boast around saying that okay, I have. Uh, uh, I did my PhD in uh, advanced mathematics when I was 21 or something like that. I mean, you go on bragging about things and eventually with all that qualities, and I'm sure you can see these kind of personalities out uh, in, in your place or within uh, your lifetime, you've seen these kind of personalities. These people will have all the best academic qualities, okay? All the best of upbringing, all the money they can have, but they are losers in their life, right? The fact remains that they do not know how to um, leverage this Buddha Aditya, okay? They do not know how to um, use this um, gift they have in the right way, okay? Instead, they they just waste it by uh, empty talks, you know, uh, just uh, loitering around and stuff like that. So, you know, that, that doesn't mean that you have Buddha Aditya, uh, especially in the first talk, doesn't mean that, uh, you know, things would be all too good, you know, you have to be very cautious to see what are the effects of Mercury uh, and Saturn and the first house and the, and the Rasi and Drishtis and the Argalas and everything must be seen, right? Cannot, we cannot just jump into conclusion, that's not how astro Vedic astrology or astrology works, it's all about dynamism, okay? And if at all, if it's uh, um, uh, afflicted and all that, then there are ways to do remedial measures, okay? Now, the next thing, um, what I normally see with, uh, with, to my clients is that these people are, um, uh, they are their source, they are the confidant, okay? So if you need to know something and you always seek these people, because these people, they know their stuff, okay? In a working environment also, they will easily master everything in a short span of time. They will learn everything uh, in a very, very fast pace. So that makes a person that you can, you know, they, uh, you know, the go-to person, you know, this person who wants to know everything. Uh, that's something which is seen again and again. It, they create a lot of confidence. Public speaking, no problem. Auditory, no problem. Uh, that eloquence is so strong for them. Uh, you know, they give them a topic and ask them to talk about it. Say, if you're, you're in a meeting, all right, um, you need to meet a customer. Say, you're a business person and you need to meet a customer and uh, immediately, and, but the product that you got was something really new. Even you yourself don't know what is this product, but you need to meet this customer in just half an hour. So you will make sure that you'll know everything about the product within half an hour. Seems impossible, right? Not true. For people who have Buddha Aditya, you'll be impressed. Uh, you'll be surprised. Uh, some even in awe to see how well their brain works, you know, if, if they want to get it done, they will just get it done in a very short span of time. There's something that I see again and again. Um, they flare in politics. Uh, these people are superbly good in politics. Because, you know, with that uh, strong, authoritative, brave, uh, and also intelligent personalities, and the way they talk is very tactful, very sharp, uh, very confident, creates a, a leadership quality, okay? The people actually like to see people who are extremely confident, generally speaking. Uh, they don't like people who, who are unsure about the topic, who are unsure about their knowledge. People want to see uh, someone who is, you know, they, are, they, they know their job in and out, that sort of thing. Um, I see Sun and Mercury people, uh, some Buddha Aditya people, uh, they do well in the medicine line, especially when it comes to research. Not the normal day-to-day -day, uh, physicians, but these people, they do more advanced uh, majoring in certain areas of medicine. I noticed that some people are also seen in uh, mathematics and advanced um, applied mathematics as well, like uh, maybe economics or statistics or those sort of lines are also people fly. They, they naturally like to scrutinize things. They actually like to 
deep dive dwell uh, into to find root cause analysis of some things uh, they just love doing that audits um, you know hackers and all that they are seen having this in their first house these people are also known to have extremely good academic uh, uh, qualities right they love to learn uh, learning is something natural for them and uh, some people are seen as even bookworms you know it doesn't matter they go commuting on the bus to their work or um, you know um, even even going to the toilet they grab a book and go this sort of person they are, they are they always it's like food knowledge is like food for them they like to consume it um in some cases what i've seen is this uh sun and mercury in the first house they can be a little bit out in spirituality now it's a general understanding that the uh, buddha aditya yoga or the sun and mercury creates a lot of uh, especially in the first house a lot of uh, um uh, piousness right their their prop- natural propensity is to be spiritual and pious uh over the years i've seen uh, that this is not quite true perhaps that could be a general notion but from what i understand uh these people they question religion okay they may be spiritual maybe not but then what they have this thought of um i would say they are more skeptical that they are skeptics rather than people who are actually pious um it's not that I'm going against the uh the the uh, the notion of uh, buddha aditya being uh, being pious but it is based on my experience that i've seen for more about uh, 4 500 charts now uh that these people who have buddha aditya are skeptical okay when it comes to religion and spirituality there's something that i wanted to share um what else yeah these people um can be seen as very creative uh, in their personality uh, and much of a humorous personality as well which again makes them a people's person they are very famous because of their their ability to have a lot of uh, um, i mean they express their emotions uh, in a, in a very openly manner to people okay um, which is why again they are known as uh, they are, they are proverbial and they are famous okay So um so that's my take on sun and mercury in the first house let's uh, continue more on these conjunctions and uh, hope you had um a good understanding and knowledge about what is this uh, uh conjunction in sun and mercury again please use your discretion to see the status of your own grahas before uh, you know coming into conclusions so if you're new to my channel uh, do subscribe because there's uh, many videos that will be coming and um, hope that you like all my videos thank you for supporting and until uh, the next time namaste